Johnny. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, happy Valentine's Day to you, too. <laughs> Listen, hmm? did you see the gift I left for you? Right next to all the stuff I got for you. Oh, I racked up. <laughs> Let's see. Candy first. Candy missing. <laughs> There was an E. coli scale into chocolate, and I tasted a few to make sure the box was safe. You're a brave man, Carl. Hey, I am here for you, baby. And these flowers are not fresh. Well, yeah, um, you see, I probably had the heat up on high in the car, and they wilted, but uh, read the card, read the card. <laughs> For my wife on Valentine's Day. My love is forever, time without end. For you are my wife, my lover, my very best friend. <laughs> oh, Carl, this is beautiful. Hey, and I mean every word, sweetheart. And you meant every word eight years ago. Huh? Carl, I save every card you give me. I know that. And I always mark down the year that you gave it to me. I didn't know that. <laughs> Carl, you snuck into my card box and gave me an old card I already had, did you? Might have. <laughs> but honey, let's put a positive spin on this. Let's call it recycling. No, Carl. Let's call it what it really is, cheap and lazy. Oh. Well, now, Harriet, that's, that's, that's a bit harsh. Harsh? Carl, you give me a half-eaten box of candy, some sorry-looking roses that are three hours away from potpourri, and to top it all off, you give me an old card I already had. Can I open my present now? Nice wrapping. <laughs> Big box. Oh. Oh, honey, this is beautiful. Those are Eddie and Laura's baby bracelets. I had them gold plated and made into a keychain. You put a lot of thought and effort into this. Yes, I did because you're worth it, Carl. <laughs>